Hey, welcome to Raw Math. Today I'm doing a series of videos on probability and counting practices. Okay, when rolling two eight-sided die, how many ways can the total on the top equal 10? Well, if the first die is one and the second is eight, that only equals nine. So if we start with two and eight, or eight and two, three and seven, or seven and three, four and six, or six and four, five and five. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. The total number of ways that we can get a sum of 10 is seven. What is the probability? Well, to do the probability, we need the total number of elements in the sample space. The number of elements in the sample space, well, we have eight options for the first die and eight options for the second and eight and eight is 64. So the number of elements in the sample space is 64. So the probability of 10 is equal to the number of elements in 10 over the number in the sample space, which is seven over 64. All right, there we go. How many ways can the total be three? Ha, one and two. 2 and 1. Such a simpler one. So the total number of element ways that we can get 3 is 2. The probability of 2 is going to just be 2 over 64. This one we need to reduce, divide it in half, to get 1 over 32. Okay. How many ways can the total be 17? Scooch this up so you can actually see what I write. Well, eight and eight equals 16. 17 is bigger than that. So yeah, the total number of ways which we can do 17 is zero. It's not possible. That is outside of what is possible, which means the probability of 17 is zero over 64 or zero. Zero is a valid probability number. What is the probability that the total is nine? Okay, so this is back to what we did with 10. We can do one and eight, eight and one, two and seven, seven and two, three and six, six and three, four and five, five and four. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. The total number of ways you can roll a nine on two eight-sided die is eight. It's a lot of them, okay. How many outcomes have at least one die showing a seven? Oh, probability, I didn't finish this one. So the probability of a nine is eight over 64 or one over eight. That's the most common number we could do. Okay, how many outcomes have at least one die showing a seven? So here's the thing. You can get a seven on the first die with an eight, any number on the second die, a one through eight. So there's, you know, seven, one, seven, two, seven, three, all the way up to seven, eight. So that's eight elements there. You could do one, seven, two, seven, all the way up to eight, seven and there's eight elements there, or outcomes. But both of these lists have the outcome seven, seven. This is an overlap. And the overlap is being counted in both of these lists. And any time you have an overlap, something counted twice, you have to subtract it out. You have to take account of any overlaps. So the total, is going to be eight plus eight minus that overlap. So there's going to be a total of 17 outcomes. The eight from the first die, eight from the seven die, second die minus the one, that should be a 15, 16 minus one. 15 outcomes. <laughs> eight from the first die, eight from the second die minus the one, overlap for a total of 15 outcomes possible for rolling two die and having a seven show on at least one of the two of them.
All right. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel, like my Facebook page, and I'll see you on the next video. Thanks.